मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल एडवेंचर विद विनी आई एम इन मैसूर सो दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम दैट आई एम ट्रेवलिंग सोलो एंड आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड एंड नर्वस बट नथिंग कैन स्टॉप मी आई हैव रेंटेड माई स्कूटी फ्रॉम अ प्लेस कॉल्ड महाराजा लाइक फ्रॉम महाराजा कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड वी आर ऑल सेट टू गो टू द फर्स्ट लोकेशन विच इज श्री वेणुगोपाला स्वामी टेम्पल इट्स अवे फ्रॉम द सिटी लाइक आई हैव टू इट्स ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स अवे आई हैव टू ड्राइव अराउंड वन आर so let's go so i've stopped at uh, krs bridge which is built over kaveri river and the view from here is really amazing you can even see the dam uh, which is located uh, in vrindavan garden so that is the dam over there finally here and i can see the temple the whole road was so scenic and so beautiful like it was really really nice just the last 2 kilometers the path was so rough so rough the road was not at all built and it took me literally 20 minutes to just cover that 2 kilometers but i'm finally here so i feel really glad the timings of the temple like it starts from 9 the timing the 9 to 6:30 i'm bit early but i can see some water and some sports activity so let's go there so i'm all set for a boat ride <laughs> constructed and it took 15 years to reconstruct this place and well you can see the results now you can get a lot of beautiful and scenic pictures over here please don't don't miss this place if you are coming to mysore <laughs> inside the temple videography and photography is prohibited even outside they are not allowing dslr or any other cameras but using phone you can still take some good pictures but the but the place is really soothing calming and peaceful so i stayed here for 30 minutes and now i'm really hungry so planning to go to lalita palace which was a palace earlier but have been turned into a hotel <laughs> at lalita palace uh, the entry ticket is 100 rupees and they give you complimentary tea and coffee i thought i'll eat also but the breakfast timings are till 10 a.m. Uh, 10 a.m. only and lunch starts from 12:45 and it's around 10:30 and i can't wait till 12:45 so we'll just visit the place and then go somewhere else to eat <laughs>
palace is really really good it's well maintained it's small like you can only visit ground floor and first floor is converted into a hotel where you can come and stay and enjoy this luxurious property now i'm heading towards a church saint philomena's church and on the way we'll grab some breakfast I stopped at a place called Vinayaka Malari which is famous for its dosa from 1938 and a lot of people were actually waiting in line to have some food over here. So post eating I'm here at St Philomena's church. Let's go in. Also photography is not allowed inside. So we have come out. So this church was constructed in 1936 inspired by Cologne Cathedral architecture in Germany. and it is also one of the largest churches in asia so you must visit the place now we are heading towards mysore palace so we are here at mysore palace and going to get the entry ticket We are done with Mysore Palace. It's really beautiful. It has a lot of history. The special thing is that you need to still need to remove your shoes and then go inside. So photography is not prohibited inside at all. So you can get a lot of pictures clicked with the beautiful backgrounds, beautiful pillars, and beautiful darwans. And yeah. Post visiting Mysore Palace. I am visiting Mysore Zoo. you can see a lot of variety of species over here but the only problem is that they are caged which i don't like like they're away from their actual home from the actual wildlife that is not good also you have to walk a lot if you are coming over here and you need to at least have to us to see the zoo properly see all the species over here but yeah it's worth the visit once you can actually see a lot of species which you may not you might not see anywhere else so we are done with the zoo and now heading towards karanji lake <laughs> away from the city noise it's peaceful serene and you can have a boat ride amidst the nature it will it's really good place and post visiting this place now we are heading towards brindavan garden so from karanji lake brindavan garden was 30 kilometers away and till the time i reached sun was set and it was completely dark and also the place was really really crowded
I am finally in and walking around this place. It was totally dark. Even the route were really amazing. If you are coming, I will suggest you to come by 4 p.m. so that you can see 4 or 5 p.m. so that you can see Kaveri waters. There is a bridge uh, over Kaveri waters. From there also, view would have been really, really amazing. So you can visit, watch that. In the park also, there is dam. You can visit the dam, do boating over here, and post that you can see the uh, fountain, uh, fountain dance and then you can leave around 7.30 or maybe 8 p.m. The place is really nice, but it would have been a little more nice if I would have come a little early. Also, I booked a dorm room in Zostel for the stay. The best part about Zostel is, of course, the welcoming people. And for solo travelers, it is simply amazing. It was very late yesterday, so I couldn't record. I came back around 9 p.m. from Vrindavan Garden and went straight to sleep. I've returned my scooter right now and will be leaving for a Bangalore via train. So here comes the end to this video my very first solo trip it was exhilarating and difficult at times when i had to drive alone and i have to shoot and uh, like record videos also mm -hmm. alone so that was difficult but i didn't give up and yeah so i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel see you in next one very soon bye bye